More snow is on the way. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for clicking on to tonight's Weather Extra. What's going to happen uh, Wednesday into Thursday, we have the dreaded inverted or Norland trough shaping up. The reason I say that, uh, it's very difficult to forecast. These things, you don't really know where they're going to set up until they actually develop. We'll have a pretty good idea of that later in the day tomorrow. Uh, and they're known for dumping heavy amounts of snow in a very short period of time. At least they have a history of doing that. So. Uh, tricky forecast going forward again. Here we go. Here's suddenly radar tonight. We just missed out on a storm today down in southern New England. They picked up a fair amount of snow, especially southeastern Mass, uh, the Cape, and the islands. Time lapse today from our Falmouth sky cam. We captured some clouds on the increase. Before those clouds started to thicken up, though, many reports started coming in of sun dogs. They come in from the halo family. You can see the sun in the middle there. See the little almost rainbow feature around the sun? Uh, it's refracted light off of ice particles, high thin clouds that were on the increase. This is another one from our, uh, well, our studios here in Portland. Uh, that's our, one of our towers right there. And you can see one edge of the sun dog right there. There's the sun. Another one should be just off of the screen right there. Okay, so the sun has gone down. We'll have partly to at times mostly cloudy skies tonight. And then our focus will now shift towards our next disturbance that will bring some snow to the area on Wednesday. More so Wednesday night into Thursday morning. The National Weather Service has already hoisted a winter storm watch. Areas in blue in the watch area, we could see over half a foot of snow. That goes into effect Wednesday afternoon and extends until Thursday afternoon. Here's the overall setup. We have one area of low pressure that's passing to our south. We have a front to our south as well. And we have another batch of energy farther off to the west. Now, a lot of this energy you see right here will be surging to the north at the same time. We have uh, this area of low pressure approaching from the Great Lakes. Both will play roles in our weather forecast for Wednesday and through the day on Thursday. A closer inspection, there's today's storm passing to our south, and there's the next one right here. Now, our forecast will hinge on where this feature, see this little uh, trough right here? It's basically a wind shift line in all levels of the atmosphere. That's something we'll be watching as well. Where that will set up, it's kind of like, it's kind of like in summertime, you know, you forecast thunderstorms, um, and some sides of towns might get a quick thunderstorm with heavy downpours but the other side of the town might not get it it's kind of a similar setup in that sense that not everybody gets the heavy snowfall here and you don't really know where they're going to set up kind of like a thunderstorm until they actually happen so certainly something to watch through the day tomorrow more so tomorrow night to thursday morning now a lot of times we get these little norland or inverted troughs they move through they move in and move out and then that's it what makes this one a little bit different, I think, will be this area of low pressure from the west here. This approaches the Gulf of Maine and intensifies on Thursday, and that's actually going to keep some snow around through the day on Thursday, I think, especially over eastern zones. Notice how it starts to intensify as it moves into uh, eastern parts of Maine and up into the Canadian Maritimes. So here's our best estimate of how it's going to play out. This is a, a forecast model run off of Microcast, which is initialized. So was initialized off the GFS early this morning. Uh, initially, I think we'll start to see a little bit of snow develop late tomorrow. It's light at about 5 o'clock. That's our first evidence of that inverted trough or wind shift line uh, staking shape. As we go through the nighttime hours, there it is right there. Now, the big question is, is it right in here or is it somewhere over mid-coast or down east Maine? That's something we need to monitor and that's something we'll be analyzing through the afternoon and evening tomorrow. Regardless, this appears to be 1 o'clock in the morning. Model is putting it right here. This extends through 6 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. We would see locally heavy amounts of snow in this period between Penobscot Bay and Casco Bay if this forecast model is right and that would extend inland about 50 miles or so. Notice off to the south there's not much going on. Notice off to the northeast there's not much going on there as well. So hey there we go. These things are difficult to forecast just because of the placement uh, of them. Seven o'clock in the morning more of the same. Uh, the trough starts to uh, weaken or move out during the daytime hours on Thursday as that low energizes or strengthens in the Gulf of Maine. Therefore, I think there is a chance for more light snow throughout the day on Thursday before we start to see some improvement on Friday. Now, this is an entirely different forecast model. This is the RPM model, which initializes off of the NAM, the North American model. This is the latest run of the, of the uh, RPM model. So here we are at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning now. You'll notice minor differences, but it has the same general idea. This is 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday. Notice a lot of clouds. If anything, it's a little bit later in the game. We're starting to see evidence of that Norland trough right here with local heavy amounts of snow starting to take place down into southern portions of New Hampshire. Now as we head into the morning hours on Thursday, not until probably 10 o'clock or so, that's when we're seeing some of the heaviest and steadiest snow arriving in the Portland area. Again, this is a lot later than some of the other models we were indicating arriving during the overnight hours. So just something to watch.
much has the same general idea, just the timing is a little different, and notice as the low energizes and strengthens in the Gulf of Maine, we start to see another burst of snow that slowly releases its grip on us by Thursday night. So, based on today's forecast, and these numbers are probably going to change a little bit, this is what we're thinking here. Our best chance we're seeing over a half foot of snow and up to a oh, half foot to a foot will be in the areas in white. My thinking is somewhere between Casco Bay and Penobscot Bay, up through the Lewis and Auburn area, yep, up through uh, maybe even the Oxford Hills here, 6 to 12. Head from Portland back through uh, northern York County here, a large portion of that region, probably 4 to 8, 3 to 6, down to southern York County and southern parts of New Hampshire. That 4 to 8 range extends from Waterville up to about the Bangor area and up to Carabasset Valley points east. Uh, I can't stress this enough. This is something that you know probably is going to change over the next 24 to 48 hours. So it's certainly not set in stone, and it's something we need to monitor throughout the uh, next 24 to 48 hours. So my best estimate for snow arriving will be late in the day tomorrow. If your plans take you out and about, most of the day will be okay. We'll just have cloudy skies. Uh, heaviest bands of snow will be tomorrow night and through the day on Thursday, but they'll be locally heavy. Uh, it was not going to snow for the entire area heavy at any given point. So we're going to be watching where that line sets up and its progression throughout the area, especially Thursday morning. Now on Friday, it looks mostly cloudy, more the same on Saturday with increasing clouds. Our next storm should bring uh, some more snow, and that will be Saturday night and into Sunday. An entirely different setup with that Saturday night Sunday system. That one looks to be more of a, a wide swath of snow moving in. With temperatures not quite as cold either, we should warm into the low to possibly even mid-30s. That's the way things look. Stay updated on uh, tonight's forecast. Of course, we'll have more updates on Fox 23 at 10, CBS 13 at 11, and Amanda will have more updates first thing in the morning. Have a nice night.